Nike just pulled off one of the biggest power moves ever that just crushes all of the other sneaker brand competition. And they did this by signing Twitch streamer Kai Sinat. Now, this is really huge because Kai Sinat, even though he's probably not the number one streamer, like statistic wise, he's definitely the most influential person of this generation. Even if you don't know Kai Sinat, you've definitely seen one of his clips or you probably heard one of his like uh, Logans or anything. Like, have you ever used Riz or heard Riz? That came from this guy right here. So, having somebody this influential with your company, it just makes a huge amount of sales and then it's just going to drive popularity you know he has taken over twitch tiktok basically all of the social media platforms every kid knows about kai Sinat, and honestly the kids the younger generation are are driving the sales they're driving the hype the popularity so this right here is very huge and i could see it going very far so let's see what the article has for us so Marking a first for Nike, and also, yes, this is also the first thing. With, like, streaming being, like, a very huge thing now, I think this was an, another reason why this was a power move was because they're obviously the first ones to do it and the first ones with one of the biggest people. And he doesn't he doesn't have, like, um, like I don't see his career slowing down whatsoever. Like, right now, he's probably in his prime, and he has so much more potential, you know, just having Kai, you know, bringing on like another rapper, another influencer on his stream, you know, and having that stream with, I don't really know how many people he gets, uh, but it's definitely in the tens of thousands of people like on a stream at one time. So just by him wearing a shoe, just by him wearing on a certain Nike shirt, that's just going to drive sales. It's just going to have an, a huge impact on the influence. So it, that's just crazy. Uh, marking a first for Nike, Twitch streamer Kai Sinat has officially joined forces with the sportswear giant. Sinat, a 22-year-old streaming sensation, has rapidly ascended to the apex of online influence, amassing impressive following that includes 8 million Instagram followers, 9 million Twitch followers, and over 65,000 paying subscribers on Twitch. Now, you have to pay, I think on the minimum, I don't know like the tiers or anything, but I know minimum, it's $5 uh, to have a subscription to his uh, channel. So... There's over 65,000 people who, who are paying $5 a month just to um, watch him ad free and then whatever other benefits that come along with that. So obviously that's a strong influence for people, um, just, even if it's a small amount, you know, people are consistently pay paying for that. So Sinat's influence with their modern culture is profound with his con content consistently achieving viral status across various social media platforms. His connections run deep within the hip hop community, further amplifying his reach and relevance among a young trend savvy audience that's what i'm saying like he's he's had people like uh offset a boogie uh low boat like ice spice like literally every every relevant person that you could really think of like he had uh what a uh, rich paul like you know what i'm saying it's just it's just certain people like anybody that you can really think of of that industry he just has on his stream so i just think that's just super influential and also Another thing is, like, I feel like Nike is also more, like, uh, I don't know the correct word, but they're, like, more interactive. They're more uh, customer-friendly. For example, like, when you have influencers or collabs with Nike, like, you kind of feel like like you can be a part of that. Like, I feel like people are more connected to the Virgil, you know, when he has Off-White, Drake's, when he has his OVO or Nocta's. Um, you know stuff like that compared to like adidas where like they do have if they do have like somebody like that outside of kanye of course but i feel like that's a whole different story because kanye uh he makes it i feel like nike they they work together to uh promote their uh collaborators or their influencers to like kind of reach out to the the fan base i don't think adidas or any other brands really do a good job of that so Pairing Kai, somebody who's very, like, outgoing, um, you know, real interactive. He's real cool with his fans. Uh, I think that's a perfect fit for him at, at Nike as well. Uh, the year 2023 was particularly monumental for Snap when seeing an exponential increase in popularity, punctuated by a subathon and event in which streamers add time to how long. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so he had 306,000 subscribers. So, again, you have to pay $5. Uh, to subscribe, so over 300,000 people paid $5 just to watch him. 
So Nat's partnership with Nike was announced during one of his highly viewed Twitch streams where he proudly declared his induction into the Nike family. While specific details of the deal remain under wraps, it's anticipated that Sanat will be prominently featured in Nike's campaign, likely showing sneakers to his massive online audience across Twitch and social media platforms. He has showcased Nike products previously when he was a seated pair of the Sakai's through, uh, though he wasn't a fan of the sneaker. So, um, that also is like a pretty dope thing. Honestly, I think, I don't think they'll start him off with like a shoe or anything because I don't really think like, as of right now, I don't think there's really like a silhouette or like a specific colorway or theme that could kind of like fully immigrate into like a sneaker from Kai. Um, and not just Kai specifically, but like any streamer, again, like this is the first thing. So it's kind of hard to imagine like what a Kai Sinat shoe will look like or like what a, a streamer shoe will look like. You know, what what model do you pick? What silhouette? What colors are you used? What specific detailing? Uh, like, I can't really picture something that goes into that. If you can, uh, let me know down in the comments. But I don't really think, I think what they're going to do with him at first is they're going to put him in like a lot of commercials, a lot of campaigns. Because again, his personality is super uh, outgoing, energetic, like you can feel the energy uh, when he's just doing all of his stuff. Like it's, it, it gets you involved. So I think, I think doing that, having him on like a big screen, would just increase like the influence like crazy. And even though I wouldn't say Nike really needed that, I think that's just gonna put them onto that next level and just crush the competition. Because again, um, Adidas is obviously struggling. Uh, New Balance doesn't really have like. A face of the company you know Joe Fresh Goods is definitely holding it down but I feel like that's not his job to be like the wholehearted face of New Balance I feel like he does a really good job at his craft by storytelling throughout his shoes and and providing something very good for New Balance however I think have you know for example that's like um, in, in basketball terms the best player isn't always necessarily the leader on the team. You know what I'm saying? It's two different worlds, even though you need both. So I think even though he's a very good artist, there isn't uh, somebody that's like just uh, the face of the brand, you know? Uh, Kanye, I feel like he was the face of Adidas for a while, but again, he was just doing his own thing. Um, this partnership represents Nike's inaugural foray into streaming domain which signifies the brand's recognition of the evolving landscape of influence and celebrity and that's also another thing with nike they i feel like they're quick to jump on like trends and be like the first to like um integrate something new so they're always breaking barriers and i think this is one of the, the barriers that they did uh rival adidas previously ventured into this space in august 2019 by signing ninja another titan of the streaming world okay i did forget about that I do remember um, Ninja had a um, he had an Adidas shoe, and it didn't really sell too good. But the thing with Ninja, I feel like one because this they say it was in 2019. So I wouldn't say he had he was already on a decline, but I don't I I don't really know the year as much. But I want to say Ninja wasn't like in his prime i feel like kai right now is in his prime ninja was in his prime when like fortnite like first like blew up like when we had all that when people were just finding out what fortnite was i think that's when uh ninja was at his prime because he was just like the best and nobody could even like picture it right however ninja doesn't really have a personality outside of of fortnite you know what i mean like his his whole persona is Fortnite. However, Kai isn't like a specific person. Like if you tune into any stream, like just by me seeing clips, clips, it's literally a new thing every day. And he's, he has something that's always entertaining that, you know, is good enough to keep my, you know what I'm saying, my attention from time to time. And then I know a lot of people's attention all the time. So, um, I think that's another reason why this will do better than, um, Ninja. Cause he just didn't really have like a personality like he was just a like a, no and no offense when I say this but he was just a nerdy dude that was just really good at the game and he got famous which again no like uh backlash on ninja because he tough but he just 
he's not, he's, he wouldn't be good for a face because he doesn't really have a personality outside of Fortnite. Um, the implications of this partnership extend far beyond the immediate boost to Nike's brand visibility among younger demographics. It, sig it signals a shift in the, I don't even know what that word is, so I don't know what that means, of influence and marketing, acknowledging the profound impact content cre creators and Twitch streamers have on Gen Z and Gen Alpha. Um, I don't even, I think I'm Gen Z, I'm, I don't know, I don't keep up with the gens. Uh, this gen these generations admire and emulate their favorite online personalities in a mannerism of how previous generation idolized hip-hop artists and athletes. Okay, that's actually a very good point. So it's like, they're basically saying like Kai Sinat, and don't, and don't take this literal, but they're saying like Kai Sinat is kids like Lil Wayne or like Soldier Boy in a sense like like everything that they was doing when they had their like fashion trends going on when they doing like stuff like that like everybody like I feel like every there was like always a period in time in, in uh, music back in the day where there was always like um, a group or like an artist that was just doing fashion trend and people always wanted to kind of like emulate that for example Run DMC had Adidas, I know Nelly was going crazy with the Air Forces, so it's just a lot of examples like that, and it kind of makes sense because you don't really look at it like that, because I feel like people didn't really like, there wasn't, there wasn't that much social media back then either, so I feel like there wasn't uh, really like a platform to idolize these kind of people at the rate that we're doing in this generation. But that's basically the same thing as what these kids are doing, like, and I see it in, like, just everyday life, like, like, from their lingo to how they do certain things, um, these kids are really influenced by these streamers, especially Kai, so just imagine if you put on, you know, a certain Nike shirt, and he's, and, you know, he just turns on stream, got a cool shirt on, everybody in the chat, yo, what's that shirt, da-da-da, and then he makes an announcement, like, yo, this is the new Nike shirt, Man, y'all should go cop. This is great. People are going to just want it because they saw that Kai war. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I think that's actually a pretty good comparison. Nike's strategic partnership with Kai Sinat may pave the way for future collaborations with additional influencers, potentially leading to content creators receiving their sneaker lines. This partnership would significantly involve how brands perceive and engage with online communities, recognizing the unique bond and influence streamers like Kai Sinat wield over their vast engaged audience. Now, another thing I want to say is, like, they have so much p potential to do stuff with that because I feel like these brands, and, and, you know, it's crazy that we're talking about Nike because I feel like Nike sometimes tries to, like, like, they see what's trending and then they try to emulate it, but they have someone, like, and it's hard to, like, fully, like, copy something that's not you. So, for example, like, when they go on Sneakers Lives and stuff like that, I think that would be an amazing idea if they if they ventured and like gave basically like a form of sneakers live to like Kai or like streamers like that. I think that would have a better uh, engagement value because I think people would really want to tune in more if Kai was talking about the the most trending shoes this week or something like that compared to somebody. And no offense to anybody on sneakers live, but to some people that we don't really know. Um, their personality seems forced just to try and like get our engagement. So I think somebody like Kai who just naturally just brings that presence, I think that would be very good for him to like showcase certain shoes or stuff like that. And I think that would have um, a definite increase in sales. So like just imagining stuff, I think the sky's the limit for this potential. And I think this was a phenomenal sign for Nike. And I think Kai was also the perfect fit. Um, I don't really know what other streamers that they could really uh, bring on outside of Kai. You know, I'm not, I, I kind of just know like the main ones like Kai, Aiden, um, Rage, Speed, stuff, people like them. Uh, but I feel like a lot of them are kind of like brand risk at the same time. And I feel like Kai, uh, he does a very good job of just staying like out the mix of doing like controversial stuff stuff like that so he's definitely not a brand risk but looking at the other streams because you also got to think um that's kind of like one of the other i guess cons to this or like liabilities compared to like athletes or artists 
they kind of have to have like an image to keep up. They're PR trained. Um, and, you know, if they do anything controversial, that's their career on the line. However, streamers are just like regular people and they're doing regular things. Um, so they kind of have like more free will because they're not really tied to some type of organization. You know, uh, NBA players, they're tied to Adam Silver, the, the, you know what I'm saying, the league's regulations. Artists, they have, they're signed to like their label. So you got to make sure like you're in tack with your label because your label will cut you off if you start doing some dumb stuff. So like they don't really have like a filter to an extent because um, they can really because they're like there's nobody over them you know what I'm saying their their brand or their persona is not really at at risk so to speak so that would be the only thing but Kai isn't like that so uh, I'm, I'm just trying to see like so far in the future who else could they bring on and what's the potential so if y'all got any like more ideas of what could potentially be for the streamers, what could they provide for these uh, type of brands, especially if other brands start to pick up on this trend. Um, so let me know that down in the comments down below. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.